It's now been over a year since my last 10 reasons to root your phone video. And despite the fact that many think that unlocking root access on your phone is no longer really a thing worth doing, I'm here to say that that is absolutely not the case. In fact, for the past few months, I've been using a rooted Pixel 8 Pro as my main everyday device. And if it wasn't for the fact that it was rooted, then I wouldn't have enjoyed using it nearly as much as I have. And so with that in mind, I thought it was about time to put together a brand new list of 10 reasons to root your phone for 2024. You ready? Let's dive in. And to get things started, we have to kick the list off with a Magisk module called Play Integrity Fix. And I wanted to get this one out of the way right from the top here, because for those of you concerned about rooting your phone, because you're worried it's gonna break any banking apps installed on your phone or Google Wallet and so forth, well, this module is the fix for that. I'll leave a link to a GitHub page below, which explains all the instructions needed to get this working. But essentially, ever since I followed these steps, I've never had issues with using Google Wallet on my rooted Pixel 8 Pro. So hands down, a must have for anyone using a rooted phone. Next up is a root only application called Iconify. And if you're into customization and you use a phone that uses a Pixel or custom AOSP based ROM, then this is a seriously incredible app that you're gonna love. Now, some features will work straight out of the box, no additional steps necessary, but to take full advantage of the app, you wanna also download and install the LSPOSED module, link below, but once done, you'll gain access to a huge collection of customizations and tweaks that you can make to your system UI. From changing the icons in your status bar to tweaking the look of the various quick settings toggles in your quick settings panel, to changing how your notifications look. You can even change the style of these toggles across your phone or even what toast messages look like. Plus there's a heap more to go with as well. And then another app in a very similar vein, but that is just as perhaps even a little more powerful is Pixel Expert. Similar to Iconify, this is another app that requires LS Pose to take full advantage of, but it is packed to the brim with customization options that'll help you to make your phone look and function exactly how you want it to. There's an option to show the brightness slider when you first swipe into your quick settings panel or to move it down the bottom, which is great for one-handed use. You can use a module to completely hide your navigation bar or to remove the circle from behind the fingerprint sensor icon on the lock screen. You can even use it to set up this slidable flashlight quick settings toggle. And those are just a few examples. There are a stack more on top of those as well. Now, before I started making this video, I was using a root only app called Pixel Launcher Mods to customize the stock Pixel Launcher home screen so that I could make it look like this. However, in preparation for this video, I stumbled upon a brand new version of one of my favorite third party home screen launchers of all time, Launch Air version 14. I used to use this launcher all the time in conjunction with another app called Quick Switch. And this meant that I could use it to replace the Pixel launcher so that it became the stock system default launcher, meaning it got full access to the gestural navigation system, which meant it left all of those beautifully fluid animations intact. However, development for the launcher has kind of gone quiet over the years. And since the Android 13 and 14 updates, there was no version of the launcher that worked with Quick Switch. Well, that was until I stumbled upon this forked version called Launch Air 14. And to my absolute surprise, it works like a charm. And as a result, it has now become my full-time home screen launcher once more. And it includes just about all the home screen customizations we knew and loved about previous versions, including custom icon theming, grid sizing options galore, app draw customization, even a bunch of handy gestures. Plus, like I said, because I've got a rooted phone and have set it as the default launcher using Quick Switch, I can now have my favorite home screen set up with all of these beautiful app opening and closing animations to go with. And so suffice it to say, this is probably my new personal favorite reason to root my phone in 2024. And then we have an amazing application called Anua. And this is an app that has received a lot of airtime on my channel over the past year, but it's getting some more love today thanks to the fact that it also includes a bunch of really handy root only features as well. The app itself is essentially a fully fledged app manager application wrapped in one of the most elegant designs you'll find in terms of applications. But on top of its already jam packed list of features, Using it on a rooted phone means you can uninstall system apps, you can batch manage battery optimization settings for groups of apps, you can block app trackers or run the inbuilt terminal in root mode, plus there's a bunch of extra root only features as well. 
All right, before we get to the next reason to root your phone, let's quickly talk about another app that does not require root access, but that is just as powerful regardless, Pulseway. And a big thanks to Pulseway for sponsoring today's video. I've spoken about Pulseway a bunch of times on the channel now, and that's because, to put it simply, it is an incredible IT management tool that can seriously change the way that you work. So with Pulseway, you can remote into any system to access files and applications. You can of course then patch any issues or run automations or even just monitor CPU usage if you like. But here's the kicker. You can do all of this and more straight from your smartphone. And what's great is that it was actually built with a mobile first design. And this makes it a fantastic tool for getting work done at any time and in any location, meaning you can spend less time at the office and more time living your best life. But the best part is that you can try it completely for free, no commitments whatsoever. So to get started with using Pulseway, use the first link down in the description below. Okay then, from there we have an app called GMS Flags, which essentially lets you enable hidden unreleased features found within some Google apps. So for example, you can unlock this cool floating nav bar in Google Photos or this bottom search bar within the Google app, or even this undo button within the Google keyboard. Plus there's a stack more as well. You can use the suggested flags here or just sift through every single app package installed on your phone if you have a bit of know-how, but it's definitely really neat to have an easy way to unlock unreleased features before the rest of the world gets to try them. Now, Button Mapper is an app that you can use without root access. However, if you do grant it super user permissions, then you'll actually be able to extend its functionality even further. The app itself essentially lets you remap any of your phone's hardware buttons to perform alternate action. So for example, you can customize it so that tapping your volume up button twice toggles your flashlight or long pressing your volume down button activates your assistant and so on and so forth. But with root access unlocked, you can do all of this with your screen off, which is literally so, so handy. Now, a fun little root only module that is worth trying out, even just for a laugh, is this one here called iOS Sounds. You just install it, reboot your phone, and from there on out, you'll hear iOS system sounds across your entire UI. It's kind of trippy, and if you don't like it, you can just disable the module and restart your phone, but it's definitely fun nonetheless. Second to last today is another Magisk module called No Storage Restrict. And this is a module that you can use to address that issue that prevents apps from being able to access certain folders on your phone. So for example, when you first start using an app like KWGT, it'll ask you to set up a folder somewhere on your phone to store any backup files and autosave widgets and so forth. But by default, you cannot select this root folder here. Well, with the no storage restrict module installed, you can. And this obviously works with any app that you can think of. And so finally today, we have a super simple yet incredibly useful module called Cache Cleaner. And this is a tool that quickly lets you clean the cache of all of the apps installed on your phone. With the module installed, you can then open up a terminal, type in the command su space dash c space cleaner, then press enter and that's it. Now, every single app installed on your phone will have its cache cleared automatically. Even better than that is that the app will run the command automatically in the background if the total cache size on your phone exceeds one gigabyte, although you can disable this feature if you like too. And so there you have it, 10 reasons why I think rooting your phone is something still worth doing here in 2024. Definitely feel free to let everyone know of any other additional root only apps or features people should check out down in the comments below. But that's it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.